To put it mildly, Erica Mina and Safari's relationship hasn't been easy. In general, even though they had two kids, the couple is no longer together. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. In the end, their romance was featured on programs like Love & Hip Hop. After all, this isn't necessarily a good combination for a partnership. But there's no denying that these two will fight frequently and in public on social media. These arguments can occasionally be a little one-sided, with one person expressing their sentiments. I was with Nikki, we broke up. Her fans and certain people, they just wanted it to be like, okay, they're not together no more. Safari recently discussed his scandalous relationship with Nikki Minaj in an interview. He mentioned in the interview that the years after their split were difficult. Him, let him be nothing, let him disintegrate, let him disappear. It was generally a dismal moment, and some people didn't want to be around him. Mina doesn't appear to feel sorry for her ex, either. She even unleashed some venom on Safari on Instagram. She basically thinks his actions are shameful. It was like nobody wanted to be next to me, nobody wanted to work with me or none of that. I will forever be embarrassed that I gave sis these incredible, beautiful babies, Mina wrote. He don't even talk or care about his seeds this much online or in real life. Mina then doubled back in the comments section over at the shade room with more commentary. Hopefully sis can end his deadbeat struggle next, she wrote. If one thing is for certain, it is that there is no love lost between these two. Sitting on this couch with you crazy motherfuckers, this is the best thing could have happened to me tonight. The game is a creative person who has never hesitated to express his true opinions on various subjects. In general, it has occasionally gotten him into difficulty in the past. It has, nevertheless, also brought him a good number of admirers and supporters. He was the ideal guest for Tia Kemp, Tokyo Tony, and Carlissa Saffold's Aunt Tea podcast because of his tendency to voice his opinions. You wanna take five or something? I'll do it, I'll take one for the team. We've talked a lot about this podcast, which has thus far revealed some incredible teasers. It comes out that Tony was the target of the game's sex seduction attempt during the episode. Over there looking like the lady gremlin. <laughs> the game then appeared to offend Tokyo Tony during a tumultuous exchange that followed. There will be many more moments like this one in the future of this show, that much is clear. Without a doubt, one of the more distinctive social media stars is Tokyo Tony. All things considered, she is Black China's mother and is well known for her oddball Instagram tales, lives, and outbursts. Her admirers adore her in spite of her hostile remarks. At the end of the day, she knows how to entertain, and she has had some legendary moments. Now, she gets to show off her talent on her Auntie Zeus Network podcast, which Carlissa Saffold and Tia Kemp co-host. The three women had on the game on the podcast last night. For a variety of reasons, the game is an intriguing visitor overall. This black ass nigga that's about to come out to fuck my daughter, I wanna hear about it. But given the format of the podcast, it was clear he was there for the mess. Actually, Tokyo Tony disclosed to them that their guest had slept with Black China, her daughter. This sparked an odd discussion about Black China's sexual abilities. Throughout the chat, Tokyo Tony didn't even blink once. Me too. Oh, no whoa, chance. what the f- what? Crap. Rather, she became envious and tried to prove to the game that she was even more talented than her daughter. The game was astounded by what he was seeing, and it was all extremely strange. Tony was being encouraged by Kemp and Saffold to keep strutting in front of their guest. Oh, okay, so game, yeah. we wanna know. Uh, all things considered, this is the kind of content viewers are hoping for from the program. The internet knew things were going to go crazy when it was announced that these three would be doing a program together. This episode suggests that the show has not yet let us down. The mother of Rick Ross's child, Tia Kemp, is well known for her outrageous activities on social media. All in all, she has been a real pain in Ross's side. He constantly makes fun of him on social media. Moreover, everything has only gotten worse once the artist discovered that he was being attacked in Canada. Throughout the feud, she has even taken Drake's side, which has resulted in some amusing social media posts. Kemp now has an entirely new stage on which to disparage Ross. We are discussing her just released Aunt T podcast on Zeus Network, of course. She, Carlissa Saffold, and even Tokyo Tony host the program. Your algorithm should be alarmed by this lineup. The game, who is also at odds with Rick Ross, was recently featured on the program. Kemp appeared to be in a good mood as a result. Tia would let me give her a lap dance, so she'd give me one back. I don't pay for nothing. Come on. All in all, she was with someone who disliked Raze as much as she did. She then proceeded to give the game a lap dance as a result. Boss might get mad, but hey, dog, fine, man. Even though the fans at home weren't startled by anything, Tokyo Tony and Saffold certainly weren't. The episode went up last night, and at the same time as the video, it went viral. This show is going to be a reliable source of viral videos, if anything. There are already two or three snippets from the game episode that have people in disbelief at what they're seeing. Rick Ross has continued to apply pressure. He hasn't stopped criticizing Drake on social media or in public, even if it seems like the bigger feud is gone. In fact, it's been going on for so long that Tia Kemp, Ross' baby mama, has entered the fray. A diss track directed towards Ross was released by Kemp over the instrumental to his own song, Hustlin'. She also made fun of the rapper when he appeared to be harassed for performing Not Like Us Live in Canada. 
But what really got Ross upset was a comment Tia Kemp made on Instagram on July 1st. Kemp immediately showered the rapper with compliments after Drake shared a picture on Instagram. She left two emojis in the comment box that looked like stars. Never one to pass up the chance to engage in passive aggression. Drake called Kemp my goat. Rick Ross responded to both parties with a vicious jab after this conversation. After tagging Drake, he replied, Pedo vs Granny. It was a direct jab at Drake and Tia Kemp, nothing deep and subtle. There have already been arguments between Ross and Kemp on social media. The two got into a violent argument about child support payments in June. In honor of Father's Day, Ross said that he was free from having to pay child support for his son with Kemp. What would you rather celebrate, Father's Day or the date of your last child support payment? That's a good one. See, that's when the bitch was his regular self did. Rick Ross celebrated what he says is his last child support payment on Father's Day. But Tia Kemp, the mother of one of his children, called him out in a post of her own. What if your last child support payment was on Father's Day weekend? That's what you call divine divinity. You stupid silly mother about your child support payments, bitch. Ross claimed on social media that it was a sign of divine divinity since the holiday fell during the same week as his last payout. And if I want some more, I take my ass over to family court and get some while he going to college. Soon after, Kemp appeared with a video of her own and declared that Ross would continue to pay child support for a number of children for many more years. You gotta worry about them eight or nine you over there you got that you gonna be paying child support for till you're about 70 years. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.